Today we will be making mushroom and tomato toast, a recipe from Fanny Farmer's A New Book of Cookery published in 1912. For this recipe you will need stale bread, 4 tablespoons butter, 2 cups chopped mushrooms, half teaspoon finely chopped shallot, 1 cup tomato puree, half teaspoon salt, 1 eighth teaspoon pepper, a few grains of paprika, and 1 tablespoon finely chopped parsley. For today's video I have the recipe. Cut stale bread in 1 3rd inch slices and shape with a large round cutter. Saute in 1 tablespoon of butter until delicately browned. Wipe mushrooms and cut in pieces. Then cook in two tablespoons of butter for five minutes. Cook one tablespoon butter and half teaspoon finely chopped shallot for three minutes. Add one cup tomato puree, bring to the boiling point and let simmer for three minutes. Then add half teaspoon salt, 1 8 teaspoon pepper, and a few grains of paprika. Arrange mushrooms on six rounds of bread. Pour over tomato. and sprinkle with one tablespoon finely chopped parsley. All right, so let's see how these taste. So these are actually very good. The sauce tastes like pizza sauce, which is what I expected. Um, they have a delicate savory flavor and the texture from the toast is a nice contrast to the mushiness of the sauce and the mushrooms. What's really interesting to me is that this method of preparing mushrooms is very, very similar to how I've been subconsciously preparing mushrooms in 2020. Normally when I make mushrooms, I chop them up, I saute them in a pan with olive oil and an onion or a shallot, um, and then I add in about a quarter cup to a half a cup of pasta sauce and then probably some Italian seasonings like oregano or parsley. The fact that a hundred years ago, the same combination was, was apparently popular or popular enough to be captured in a, one of the most popular cookbooks of the time, it just baffles me. Imagining that the flavors that I'm enjoying now are the same flavors that have been enjoyed over a hundred years ago is just so amazing. I would definitely make this again I think one way you could make it easier is um, instead of removing the mushrooms from the pan and then um, simmering the sauce, just keep the mushrooms in the pan and before they're fully cooked, dump in the sauce, dump in the shallot, the extra butter, so that everything kind of cooks together. Um, yes, it looks prettier with the sauce on top, but for uh, ease and speed, I think we can skip that. Let me know if there's any historic recipes you'd like me to try. Um, if you like this video, please 
click the thumbs up uh, down below and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Bye!